So in the series of building AI agents, this is the second video. If you have not watched the first video, make sure you go and watch the last video where we have built our first agent. It was very simple AI agent to help automate our email when we get an appointment date. So it was done using N810. This is the second video in that same series where we are going to automate and have Twitter trends using a few keywords. For example, we'll give some keywords. I'll tell you what exactly we're going to do in this video. But if you're following this series, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more such amazing videos coming ahead. There's a super amazing video coming two days after this and that is going to help you build great website for your own businesses so what we are going to build so what exactly we are going to build we are going to build a twitter trends uh, ai agent basically it is going to be a very simple ai agent again i don't want to make it very complex we're not using any specific llm for this but yes we'll be using uh, certain things like twitter api to help us with uh, the overall process so what this agent would look like we'll give some input keywords for which we want to know what is the trending topic for example if i want to know about mcp server right so i'll just search mcp server and I will get in the output all the Twitter threads or all the Twitter posts in which MCP server is the word present and what is the reach. We'll get specific metrics like the number of likes, the number of shares, the number of views on that particular post and we'll get the top 20, top 30 posts as much as we required. So the AI agent that we're talking about would look something like this. We'll have a chat message where we'll give a natural language prompt of what exactly is the keyword that we're looking at. For example, if we're looking out for something in politics, right, we'll get that chat message or we're looking out for something in AI. For example, I search there that what is the latest news in AI. For example, uh, we, we can search about Figma recently announced their IPO. So we'll get X number of posts on X which are related to that topic. So then there'll be an HTTP request. This uh, will be using some Twitter API. So I'll show you how you will be using this Twitter API to get that HTTP request. And then we'll be writing the logic. So this block would help us write that logic. And this logic will be uh, used to help segregate and get the data in the correct form. And then we can have a graph or chart or sheet where our data would be presented now these, these are the four steps that we're going to do in this particular uh, video but but i'll be talking about first three parts and fourth part i'll leave up to you you can do that because you now know how to connect your google mail on to n810 as we have seen in the last video similar to that you can connect your google sheets also to n810 so we'll see that in uh going ahead in this video but stay tuned till the end of this video because you are going to build something amazing so let's get started and we can see this is n810's page and i have already shown you previously that this is something that you can use to create workflows like this and n810 also offers you different templates you can plug in these templates and build your workflows on your own and n has seamless integrations with multiple different tools that we use in our day-to-day -day life, be it your Gmail, Google Drive or Slack or whatever you want, right? So these are, this is something that you can use. And last time as also I told that you can check out the pricing here. You can see the pricing is $20 per month billed annually or it's $50 if you're looking out for a pro plan or if you're looking out for an enterprise plan, then it's different, right? But at the same time, you can self-host it. And I already told you about Hostinger. That's the easiest and the cheapest way to host NA10. And they have now a special page for NA10 only. NA10 VPS hosting, you can go to this page. I'll give the link in the description. There's special discount as well. So this is uh, the KVM that we are going to uh, check. You can check KVM 1, 2, 4 or KVM 8. You can click on choose plan. So this is the plan that I am going to choose this time. Once you go to your card, right? So you can see for 24 months, they are offering it at 499 rupees per month. And this is a part of their monsoon sale, which is a never before offer in which you'll be getting around 69% off until August 17. So if you're purchasing it before August 17, you'll get it at this price. And above all, if you'll apply the coupon code Arsh Goyal, you will get additional 10% discount. You can click on it. You can just uh, continue. Once you click on continue, you can pay using any method that accepts UPI as well. And after that, you can set up your N810 as I've shown in the previous video. Now let's move on to N810's page and see how the workflow looks like. So this is how we'll start creating our workflow. The first step we'll add here is a chat uh, trigger. 
that will help us uh, start the chat with the interface and where we'll be giving our input for example the word that we want to search for or the word that we want to search that is that will give us trending tweets will be using and we'll be searching it using this chat trigger so maybe we can just put in for example arsh goel if i I'll, I'll look out for tweets which have arsh goel in it so i'll just click on uh, chat so this node has successfully executed and you can see uh, uh, this is the session id this is the action send message and chat input is arsh goel right what is the next step so how we are going to connect this chat message so we'll have to get some data from twitter right so how we'll get that data we'll be using api so we'll be uh, we can get it get it directly also from twitter but there's uh, another uh, website that will help us give real-time social data and that's very simplified and we get a lot of free credits also that every one of us can use right so you just need to simply log in with any of your accounts once you log in uh, we are basically going here for our api key that we'll be using here so in our workflow we'll have the next uh, trigger as HTTP next node as HTTP request. So we'll have this HTTP request and the URL, right? So we'll, we'll see which, uh, uh, HTTP request we are going to have. So this is the Twitter API. We'll click on dashboard. So you can go to Twitter API dot IO slash dashboard that will give you the same, right? So you have zero recharge credits, but you have 99,430 bonus credits. So generally everyone who signs up here, you get 100,000 bonus credits. Any one of you can use these 100,000 uh, bonus credits to uh, use in your project, right? So I'll just copy this API key that I'm getting here. So I'll just copy this API key and be used. It will be used here. But apart from that, which URL I should use here, right? So I've created a special doc. It's a Google doc that's listed down in the description below. You can check out and from that Google doc, you can, uh, get things off. So this is the Google doc that you'll see in the description here, the first URL, right? The API, Twitter API, where we're looking out for advanced search. So this is the URL that we need to put here. So method needs to be get authentication needs to be none and we'll be specifying some query parameters. So first thing is which query we want, right? So we'll look out for query type and value is top. We'll add another parameter. So what is the, so what is the query that we are asking, right? So we need to put it in this, uh, HTTP request and value here. So the input, right? This is the sample input that we already had. You can see on the uh, left hand side. So we'll just put in this chat input here, this value. So this gives us uh, the query, query parameters that we want, right? So now uh, subheaders, right? As we need to specify some headers also. So which header we'll be putting our API key here, uh, X API key and the value we need to put here. Uh, so this is the value that I'll be putting that I've just copied from here and I'll be putting it in uh, X API key. And from here you can just add pagination, right? So you just need to click on pagination here. Once you click on pagination, you can look out for query and uh, name and value, right? So this is uh, something that will be there in front of you now on this. So now on this pagination, we need to click on uh, response contains next URL. And in that document, I have given you the next URL. Uh, basically this is helping you uh, uh, manipulate the cursor and this cursor for example will help you fetch the data that you want and this cursor can move across on your screen right so response dot body dot next cursor is something that we're giving pagination is complete when we are giving a complete expression so we'll see when this page or pagination is completed so for that also once this uh, has next page becomes false then we mean that the pagination is complete right so this is the second thing uh limit pages fetch for example it can fetch up to 100 pages no we don't want to fetch 100 pages because we have limited resources we have limited credit so we'll just fetch maybe one or two pages i'll just type on one page and that's it, it looks good i'll just try to execute this step yeah so we are getting the data once you're executing the step you can see there's so many uh tweets that have been uh, a mention of arsh goal we are excited to announce arsh goal has a speaker at global data camp so this was one tweet then uh, there was another tweet uh, that a global media company for data science has put which company has put right so where this tweet came from so next is the below cease and desist letter was sent by docusign so this is the post that i did some time back so this is also the data that i can get right so we we just completed our second step now what should be the third step now we'll have some logic 
right what logic on how we want to get that data so we'll put that logic so we'll have our code here right uh, run for all items let's say javascript code and this is the sample code that they have given so i just had this code written i'll just walk through this code so that you can understand what we're exactly doing so this code was written by uh, gpt but claude to be specific but yeah you can understand first we are initializing an empty array to collect all the tweets then we are looping in through each item or uh, we are just writing a loop and a function to format the date in more human readable way so that we can read that date very correctly Removing duplicates if there are multiple tweets with different tweet IDs. So we are specifying a tweet ID, so it should not uh, hamper, right? So this is something that we can look out for. Again, we are formatting the clean tweets. Right, and we are outputting all the tweets at separate items. So this is how the code would look like. I'll just try and run this step as well. So there's some problem at line number 45. What's going on? Oh, I think this is the problem. I think it should run now. Yeah, so as the node is executed successfully, you can see in the table, uh, the data, right? You can see this uh, data in the table what all data we have we have tweet id we have url we have content like count retweet count reply count view count bookmark count right so we have all the things that we wanted uh for number of tweets right we have all the tweets here we have uh the data that we want this is page one this is page two so the page size is like each page contains 10 of these now the next step that i want you to do is to connect either a google sheets or air table or something like from where you can visually see the ui of these tweets so that's something that i want but till now you got the idea on how this is to be done i think by doing that you will be able to understand a bit more and you can practice hands-on let me know in the comments below once you do that it would be very very useful and you'll learn a lot of things in the process so overall let's say if we give a second command uh let's say zero tha mcp if i just want to search for zero the mcp and i'll just click ok so it will run through this workflow and all steps are executed so now once you want to see right so you can see all the tweets that have been made for zero the mcp you can find json file also schema also and uh, uh, whatever you want right so this is how it works the next step for you the homework that you should uh, do is just add a google sheets here a Google Sheets like this, where you need to create a spreadsheet and fill in those rows, or you can add an air table. So this is something that you should do. And I feel that this is something that would be very useful for somebody like you to fetch tweet Twitter data for using in multiple of your applications. You can deploy it anywhere, anywhere you want. Let me know in the comments below, which next agent do you want me to make? And if you're following this series, do hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more such amazing videos coming ahead. Thank you so much. All the best. Good luck and bye.